Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a little while since y'all saw me. As y'all see, I just gave birth to a beautiful little girl. Just how I imagined it. Actually, I thought I was having a boy. Kind of find out the most high plan me to have a girl. Like I'm so truly grateful these days. I've been thinking about doing a holistic pregnancy journey video. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know because that's definitely something I want to talk about. Like I want to open space for, for all those expecting earth mamas out here, especially if it's your first born like it was for me. After my miscarriage, it was my rainbow baby. But enough of that, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is all about spell words. Let's talk about what even is words. When you think about words and when we think about what exactly the breakdown, the etymology, right? The spelling, like it's literally in the word spelling. Spell, spell, spell. We cast spells on things, we can speak life, we can speak death, which is also in the Bible. You have the ability to speak life and you have the ability to speak death. All too often, we give too much power to negativity. Stop giving power to negative ass shit. Then you wonder, you wonder why your life isn't going the way you want it to or your manifestations aren't coming through and it's because we're very powerful beings. For me, especially like me starting to walk into my power, I can't give any type of ounce of negativity and attention. That's why you have rituals. You have things where you wake up in the rising. Some people, they talk to the sun. Some people spend time with their temples, doing yoga, right? Speaking to the most high, journaling, doing some type of ritual that sits well with you and your spirit because everybody's journey is different, okay? Everybody's journey is different. For me, I like to wake up in the rising and give thanks, give gratitude. I literally know what my life will look like if I don't choose to take the time out of my day first thing in the rising to give thanks. I'm always constantly being reminded that I can't move and maneuver like some individuals do along their journey because now that I know, now that I have that consciousness within me, I have to do better. And that's another thing, accountability. When it comes to spell work, you have to be accountable for what the fuck you're trying to work on. We can't be manifesting peace and then you're going to some sneaky link or you're hanging out with some of your best friends that are not peace, right? And it sucks. Granted, when you're going along this journey, I done already told y'all, it can get very, I hate to use the word lonely because it's not necessarily lonely. It's just going to be solitude. You're going to be in a position where you're going to be by yourself, okay? And what you will find is that you have to make space for what the fuck you want. You can't be, like for me, in my journey, I'll give you an example. There was a time where I was manifesting money. When I became aware of my fleshly desires versus my spiritual desires, I began to realize I had no money to fund what I wanted to do spiritually. The things that spirit was calling me to do, the most I wanted me to do, I didn't have the funds for it because I was so caught up in the flesh. Trying to maneuver and do what the fuck this physical 2D ass world wants me to do. So I had to realize I had to get rid of that shit. This is my journey, you know, I can't be manifesting for more, more money, asking the most high to give me this, to give me that. And I'm sitting in here with a closet full of designer and Jordans that I haven't touched in months. Like when I was going through my whole journey and in the beginning I was releasing those fleshly desires. I was getting out of the past Positions that I used to be in so I had to realize I had to release I had to cleanse that space I had to release all of those connections with my past self okay when you talk about spell work you definitely have to do cleansing purifying right I had to get that energy out of my home not even like last week I finally got rid of all my military gear cleansed that out and moved that out the way and I actually was able to get money for it so it's like we be asking for things and sometimes it's right in our face like like, you don't realize it at the time when you be manifesting, but you get the idea. And that's why I tell people like, you are manifesting money, but some of y'all have million dollar ideas. Some of y'all have, you know, um, ideas for businesses, ideas for pitches that you're sitting in and allowing yourself to dwell within the ego, dwell within the flesh, rather than stepping out on faith and get it rooted in the spirit, okay? Message, message, hello. All right, so 
let's get into more of actual spell work and what that really does look like so of course you want to have a journal you want to have a place that is sacred to you right you want to make sure nobody can go into it nobody can see what you're writing what you're talking about it's going to be a sacred place for you now journaling doesn't always work for everybody sometimes people have video diaries whatever works best for you and to maintain and keep a positive vibration about your spell work that's what it takes you're going to want to put out into the atmosphere and literally match that energy so if you're manifesting peace if you're manifesting love if you're manifesting joy whatever it is happiness a child you too have to match that it's vibrational match you have to match that vibration to obtain it so for example my first First, we're gonna start with Matthew 6, 3, 3, okay? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there, okay? A lot of times with spell work, you wanna look at the words that are being utilized, look at different translations, look at the diction, right? Look at what it's trying to communicate. And what you will find is your spirit is gonna interpret it however it needs to be interpreted. So with that being said, for me, when I read Matthew 6, 3, 3, right? For me, it's seeking the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? It's inside you. We're told, I forget what verse, when you're doing spell work and scripture work, you kind of remember the verses, but you don't. You don't remember actually what it's titled. I'm not a pastor, I'm not a preacher. Okay, disclaimer. <laughs> but we're told that the kingdom is with Thing you you're literally told what it is and what it ain't and that's why I love spirit I love maneuvering through this new path that I'm on because it's very blatant it's very there is it, it's no questioning it it's no confusion my God is not of a confusion God okay I do not serve a God of confusion all right within you what you feel your desires the most high is going to communicate to you through you period don't ignore your heart. The kingdom is within you. And that was something I had to realize maneuvering through my journey. I would tell a lot of my family members or my friends what I'd be working on or the things I wanted to obtain, right? And of course, they're not going to understand it. They're not going to realize that you have the ability to create this same thing that you're wanting. So when it comes to your kingdom, you can't tell nobody shit. Don't tell nobody. That's a conversation with you and God. And I mentioned that a little bit on my god frequency video you cannot tell nobody shit stop telling niggas stuff like you are going to curse your blessings before they even come through okay we don't want that matthew 6 3 3 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness right and all of these things shall be added to you okay when i begin to call shit out like it was you want to look at the hebrew breakdown of the word for me that's what i was led to that's what allowed me to really understand because all them big i've never been let me tell y'all something i've never been good with big words i promise you like i hate big ass words just say what the fuck you're trying to say and move around it really confuses things the english diction within itself is very confusing so for me it's it's easier to break down and digest the scripture and exactly what it's saying for my spirit when I break it down. When we Google the word righteousness and Hebrew meaning, you will find that righteousness really is integrity, truth, honesty. Okay, so for me going through grad school, I was called to seek the kingdom of heaven within me and to then get rooted in righteousness. For me and my spirit, what was going on in college and all of that counseling, clinical shit, for me and what I served, that was not, that was not righteousness. A lot of times they're labeling things, they're getting you attached to the flesh. And for me, that was not righteousness in my kingdom. So what did I do? I got rid of it. Okay. And when I got rid of it, I was then seeking that peace. I was seeking that wisdom to then propel me into what spirit wanted, which was true righteousness, healing, true healing for people. So of course, when I began to look for this, when I began to seek these things, it was then added to me. You get what I'm saying? Y'all follow what I'm saying? Y'all see how this stuff line up? Oh, come on, spirit. Okay, then that then leads me to Matthew 6, 10. Okay, thy kingdom come. This is a very familiar one. A lot of people probably know this one. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven okay so for me because i decided to seek that kingdom because i decided to seek that righteousness it then became my heaven it then became the the exact reality that i was living but it actually became what i was witnessing what i was experiencing because i sought out for it 
you see how that worked? And I made space for it. I got rid of what wasn't right. I got rid of what wasn't in integrity. I got rid of what wasn't true, right? And I sought what was, I got rooted in righteousness and that was then added onto me. It doesn't get easier than that, y'all. I'm gonna do another one with y'all. A verse that I've been called to so heavily, Romans 12, 2, right? Do not, do not conform to the pattern of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Okay, so meaning release this world when we talk about the world guys when you, whenever you see the world or whenever you see anything talking about the flesh the physical that's this 2d plane that's man that's literally everything they talk about on the news that's literally everything they talk about on social media that's literally everything outside of you outside of your internal kingdom do not be so conformed to that shit because one that's not you first of all you're a spiritual ass being your spirit first in a human vessel okay so what you have to realize is you can't conform to anything because of the fact that spirit is formless so what are you what are you conforming to what are you putting yourself in a box for what are you labeling okay because that's not you spirit spirit was always showing me that a lot of this shit really won't for me even when i was doing it i'm always reminded bitch this shit is not you and it ain't you and stop trying to conform to it because it never will be you okay you will then be transformed and renewed say renew that means to restore okay to refresh it. when we also talk about the mind we also have to bring up dreams I don't know if y'all be dreaming how I be dreaming but when this whole journey started for me like when I really started to pay attention to spirit my dreams became so vivid and I might need to do like a, a dream video or a dream chit chat or something because my dreams y'all they be letting a bitch know something okay when we look into acts 2 17 it states in the last days god says i will put my spirit out on all people sons and daughters will prophesy your young men will see visions your old men will dream dreams so when when i really started to revisit this part of the bible and just dreams in general so when we talk about our dreams and dream interpretation like y'all that's a whole nother thing within itself but let me tell you i know we're on spell word but your dreams literally reveal things to you okay not all the time sometimes you may not know what the fuck's going on like for me i know i get some dreams and i'm like what is that but what you will find is it's literally your waking world it's the physical world that you're living within that you dwell within but it becomes your spiritual world because literally they're connected People try to act like it ain't connected, they're connected. And that's why the movie Insidious, when I used to be in my like horror, real like horror vibes and loving horror movies and stuff like that, Insidious really portrays that. If you ever watch the movie Insidious, it really talks about the dream world and how you can get stuck in the dream world. People get in comas, people have all type of things like nightmares. Your dreams are communicating what the physical really is but it has to be shown to you in the spirit because when you go to sleep, let me tell you, when you go to sleep, that spirit be wondering. Okay, that's something that I wanna tell y'all. So I just wanted to give y'all an example of how I maneuver through scripture and utilize it for my spell work. What you will find is that literally the Bible is full of words and phrases and keywords and literally these words have power. Okay, when you translate it, when you break it down, you will figure out the power within a lot of these words. And I talk a lot about programming your mind. The Bible is a very beautiful tool to program your mind with. And if you know how I am, program your subconscious, bro. Y'all know how I am about programming your subconscious brain, okay? Watch what is programming your mind. What thoughts are you having? What values are you holding? Because what you will find, the Bible is a beautiful tool to utilize to program your subconscious because of what is within the bible specifically psalms i was called to psalms very heavily in the beginning of my journey psalms is a big ass spell book okay the whole bible is really if you know what you're doing however psalms has a lot of wisdom psalms has a lot of protection psalms has a lot of love oh my gosh psalms is such i get goosebumps talking about psalms every time because i just love psalms 
but I didn't want to make this video too long. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments. You can always feel free to DM me as y'all do. A lot of y'all really be talking to me like every day and I really appreciate that because we're building such a beautiful community and it's just so beautiful here. I love it. Okay, guys, continue to shine, continue to be what God called you to be. And I promise you, I promise you, the physical will never touch you. All right, see you guys next time. I love you so much. Stay lifted and stay out of the way.